Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 10th day of October, 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Atmex so we can check out those live spot prices. But before that, I'm going to welcome you over to Good Morning to You with Tiny Numismatics. That's number 252, and it starts this morning at 9.30 a.m., and that'd be 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. Now let's head over here to Atmex. Look at those spot prices. Let me hit reload. It's been a minute. Looks like gold is down 2120 to 1690.30. Silver down 57 cents to 1991. Platinum down 1740 to 918.50. And palladium down $1.80 to 22, 22, and 50 cents. Now let's pop over here to the BBC.com website. Uh, this is an article. Um, six hours ago and martin our friend across the pond gave me a heads up email about this this morning so i told him i'd add this to the uh um to the videos this is huge folks now it says here queen features on new 50 pence coin marking bbc centenary yes there it is and look there's the beautiful coin right there so it looks like there's basically a globe and like a some kind of broadcast antenna or something like that pulsating the waves of information education and entertainment to the world. Isn't that cool? Now, it says here by Charlie Adams, BBC News, a commemorative 50 pence coin has been unveiled by the Royal Mint to mark the BBC centenary. The coin, priced at 11 pounds, probably about 12.50 American, maybe 14, pays tribute to the BBC's global reach and shows a broadcast mast emerging from the earth. It also features an image of the Queen rather than King Charles III, whose effigy will now adorn all new coins. The coins were produced before Queen died in September and will not be restruck in order to minimize waste or unnecessary environmental impact that's very nice of them now the queen's depiction on the coins is expected to create a high demand right there that's probably important to highlight among collectors said the royal mint the reverse side of the coin is inscribed with inform educate and entertain the value set up by lord reith when he founded the bbc in 1922 Rebecca Morgan, the Royal Mint's Director of Collector Services, said the company was delighted to work with the BBC to create the special 50 pence coin to mark 100 years of the organization. An ever-present British institution uh, for most people's lives, the British Broadcasting Corporation, has had a marked influence on our culture and broadcast some of the most extraordinary moments in British history. And absolutely um, good stuff. And there is the obverse featuring the Queen, uh, Queen QE2. All right, now it says here the um, 50, pen 50 pence coins were made before the Queen died in September. Now the British Broadcasting Company, as the BBC was originally called, was started 18 October 1922 by a group of leading wireless manufacturers, including Marconi, I think he invented radio uh, in Italy, and daily broadcasting began on 14 November of that same year, I would imagine. Now, BBC Director General Tim Davies said the national broadcaster was honored by the coin, adding that the design perfectly captures the BBC's huge reach and impact. Isn't that cool? And I'll leave a link in the description to this particular uh, article. So there you go, folks. Another 50 pence coin available for you. It's got seven sides on it, like their other ones. Uh, are you in? Are you down? What are you going to do? Now let's pop over here to coinnews.net. And there's an article by Mike Unser dated October 6, 2022. And I had to share this with you because I thought it was so interesting. Um, the numbers, they just speak to me. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Did the mint just do a mint hoard like they did in 2020? I got to show you. This is so wild. Now it says here, the United States Mint introduced two numismatic products last week. The U.S. Coast Guard one ounce silver medal and the 2022 West Point minted $25 reverse proof American Palladium Eagle. Isn't that interesting? Now, wouldn't that be nice? Well, it's a sidetrack, but would it be really cool if they actually had like the real value on that, like $2,500 or instead of $25? Because, hmm. I mean, face value, $25. Bucks. Yeah, I'll give you $25 bucks for that, sure. Released September 26 for $65. The Coast Guard Medal posted seven-day starting sales of 13661 That made us the United States Mint's best seller of the week. All right, just remember that. That's kind of a big deal. The collectible in the U.S. Mint's second one-ounce issue from the Armed Forces Silver Medal Program, the first one, celebrating the Air Force, lasted less than five hours before its initial inventory was exhausted, with published opening sales of 12,799 products. So there you go, 12,799 to 13,661. And now its availability has since returned, and it now has sales of 14,000 pieces, almost 15,000. Now released September 29th for $3,050, the reverse proof 2022 West Point minted American Palladium Eagle logged four day opening sales of 5,378, representing 71.7% of its maximum 7,500 mintage. Following an increase in price for Palladium, the coin's price has since increased by $100 to $31.50. Now, elsewhere, two of the mints older, here we go, this is huge, 
Elsewhere, two of the Mint's older 2020 dated Proof American Silver Eagles registered, yikes, registered a surprising sales jump. The W edition rose 8,604 to 365,714 coins, and the San Francisco edition surged 7,617 to 198,876. What? What? Folks, did you get an email about these coming back and that and those numbers? The two coins have been listed as sold out for some time. Yes, exactly. So I'm thinking here. Now, we've talked about the bullion sales at the United States Mint, right? We know that they didn't have the bullion to kind of sell to the dealers. And we did a video yesterday explaining that, well, some of the bullion won't be available until, I think, the 13th. And what does that say? Well, they don't really have any to ship out. So what did the Mint do last week? I think they went through their older inventory, okay, in their shelves, and they're like, "Well, we could sell these to the dealers." Yeah, and and the dealers, why would they why would they go, "Well, we'll take these proofs instead of the bullion?" Well, because guess what? They can take these to the grading companies and say, "Well, we just got these from the United States Mint, these San Francisco and West Point minted American Silver Eagles, and well, it's 2022, but they cleared the shelves for us." And, uh, well, could you make special labels indicating that they're from the 2022 uh, West Point Mint Horde and the San Francisco Mint Horde? Yeah, probably. I, so I would think that these would be um, probably labels that are coming out soon from NGC, PCGS, or maybe even some other grading companies. But um, definitely, I think, uh, the big two. Yeah, what do you think, folks? Uh, are we going to see new products, um, Mint Horde, on this one? Yeah, probably. i got to hurry up. I'm running out of time. There's so much exciting stuff. Now, weekly U.S. Mint top sellers. Here's a listing at U.S. Mint's most popular numismatic products for the week ending October 2. Now, we talked about the Coast Guard Medal. We talked about that Proof Eagle from 2020 and the San Francisco Proof Eagle. Look at this for ridiculous what's going on there now number four spot is the proof set and look at that normally we see sales like two three four thousand five thousand on a good week seven thousand i still think something's going on there now check this out 2022 west point reverse proof american palladium eagle yeah good sales there now we're talking the mid set 2673 that's still pretty robust sales but not as strong um as a percentage i would think as an increase as it is the proof set um so not really Concerned about that one or that one, that being the seventh spot, the silver proof set. Um, and then the eighth number spot is the American Liberty silver medal is still sailing. Uh, number nine spot is a 2021 mint set. That's the uncirculated set. And then the 10th spot is the 2021 silver proof set. And so the reason why I believe you're seeing these 2020 products is because, well, it has been a while since the mint really released anything other than the um, Coast Guard medal and the reverse proof palladium silver eagle, or American Eagle nut silver. Yeah. Now, in its latest report, the U.S. Mint published sales data for 269 numismatic products. 75 outperformed their prior weekly gains against 60. So the sales are picking up. Seven products increased by more than 1,000 units against six in the prior report. In addition, here we go. 12 products registered neg negative weekly sales compared to 20 in the last sales report. The reductions range from 1 to 81, with the latter tagged at individually sold 2022 proof San Francisco American Eagle, Silver Eagle. Yeah, look at that. That's incredible. So robust sales here for the proof silver dollar uh, on the uh, uh, National Purple Heart. Now look at this. 225 for the silver uh, dollar with a privy mark. And since we are in October, um, both commemorative coins will uh, stop being uh, up for sale on December 31st. So I guess get them while you can. Armed Forces silver medal. Somebody scored a Marine medal. One person. That's awesome. Now let's look at the Armed Forces silver medals really quick. I thought these were really interesting numbers. Yeah, look look at this. So let's go here to the United States Mint product schedule. And then we go to the U.S. Coast Guard silver medal, one ounce, at $65. Now we look at the numbers here, 11,271. So we add 11,271 with this, we're looking at over 24,000 folks. Isn't that a good number? Now let's go here to the U.S. Air Force one ounce medal. So we're going to look at the numbers here and there are only 486 available. What? 486 plus the 14,987 just puts us about just under 15 and a half thousand. And would the United States Mint add more to that? I don't know, but it's something that we, and it's a question we need an answer to. Because if we're at almost 25,000 with this one, and just at 15,000 for this one, does the United States Mint make an additional 10,000 to match the mintage of the Coast Guard medal? Uh, gotta know. Now, uh, American Liberty sold 1,323. That's an increase of 2.37%. That's pretty solid. Uh, look at this, an increase of 2.3%. 2.1% of uh, 
for the 2022 proof set. I, I'm telling you, strong sales for that proof set. Something's going on there. Um, look at this um, innovation dollars proof set, 561. It's pretty, you know, uh, look at this more American women quarter losses. All right. What's going on there? Uh, look at the silver proof sets. Talked about that already. Uh, uncirculated sets talked about this. Look at all the ornaments. All the ornaments lost except the Sally Ride. Now, uh, proof and reverse proof. Silver Eagles. I know I got to hurry. Negative 81 on the proofs. But look at this. What? Those sales from 2020 are ridiculous. And what are they going to be called? Mint Hoard? I bet. I bet they do. A Mint Hoard. Uncirculated Silver Eagles lost 75 on the regular one. That's the, uh, it's just incredible, isn't it? That's just incredible. Where are they going? All right, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I think I just got a few more to talk about. Um, ba, 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 ba. I think that is all. Oh, yeah, there was one other thing with the American Women Quarters. The, um, I think I highlighted it too. Now, check this out. This is one of the first times in a while I have not seen any sales for the American the Beautiful Quarters three coin sets. Yep, nothing there. All... Uh, hashtags. Now, here we go. Nino Terra Warren, the now quarters, lost an additional two of the two roll set to 56.35. And that's still the lowest 56.35, 58, 57, 59, uh, 53, 53, eh? 53. That's Tuskegee Airmen. No wonder I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. So there it is of the American Women Quarters. The uh, Sally Ride le uh, lost seven as well. Go figure. Now up to the plus ones. I was wondering why this frisbee kept looking bigger and bigger, and then it hit me. Yeah. Now, be sure to taste your words before you spit them out. They might be salty or bitter. And finally, over here, 95.9 KON Coin News Radio. This is Led Zeppelin, Tangerine. Great song. Dig it. One of my favorite bands. Hope you enjoy it, too. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. What? Okay, there we go. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're going to see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a, <laughs> Son of a Silver Stacker. Out. <laughs>